Hello my lovelies, I'm Rhonda McCarthy and welcome to Monday Motivation. So today I want to share with you some life coaching skills that I believe are really going to help you to navigate through this national crisis that we're all impacted by. Let's start with a scripture reference because everything is founded and based in the Word of God. Amen. Mark chapter 11 and verse 23, it tells us that if anybody, whosoever, so that means you, me, God is no respecter of persons, whosoever tells the mountain, speaks to the mountain and says, be removed, be removed and be cast into the sea and in their heart as they speak this, they do not doubt. It will be done that mountain whatever it is will be removed exactly the way that you said it so I want to talk to you about a few things that I've been doing since this national crisis and the threat of the COVID virus COVID-19 we are all impacted by this national pandemic so I want to talk about some things that you can do to capitalize upon this time when we're all locked in our homes and some of us may be feeling like we're going crazy but you can use this as an opportunity one thing that i'm so very blessed to be experiencing and benefiting from is taking this time and using it to speak to the mountain and to push myself into those situations that I desire to see in my life and that I've dreamed about. So the first life skill that I wanna share with you is identification. And what do I mean by identification? The first thing that you wanna do when you are wanting to bring about change in your life and you're want to, wanting to gather the courage and the strength to speak to the mountain, that takes courage. That takes resolve. You can't walk up to a mountain and be like, can you get out of my way, please? You have to speak to it. You have to tell it, okay, I have authority to do this. You about to go away from here, okay? So the first thing is identification. In our lives, particularly as women, we often struggle with emotional baggage, emotional baggage. So the first thing that you wanna do when you embark upon this journey to change your life and to see those things come to pass that you have dreamed about, the first thing is identification. Identify whatever it is that besets you. And when I say besets you, what's burdening you down? What's burdening you down? Do you feel depressed? Do you feel guilt? Do you feel shame? Do you feel you're not worthy or deserving to have a wonderful life like you see a lot of other people having? So the first thing is to identify whatever it is. Once you identify whatever that emotion is that is plaguing you, and a plague is something that comes and it just destroys. This emotion may be plaguing you, but if you identify the emotion, this guilt's got to go, this depression has got to go, that's the first step. So the first thing is to sit down with yourself and identify, identify what it is that is really stopping you from accomplishing the success that you wanna see in your life. So that's the first thing. And you wanna write that down, write it down. This is my journal. So this is my journal. And we're gonna talk about what it is that you can do with your journal that's really gonna be powerful. But first thing is to write it down and to identify, identify what it is that's plaguing you. Second step. Now this is a life coaching skill. This is something that will help you as like a tool to navigate to the next stage, to the next place, next level that you wanna be. Once you've identified what's plaguing you, you have to personify it. And personifying these different aspects, these different emotions that plague us, helps us to make it real and to put it 
in a defined parameter. So what do I mean by that? First step was to identify guilt, shame, depression, or whatever it is. Second step is to sit down, to personify this emotion and sit down with it and say, okay, you got to go. Just like a person, just like a person. So if it's, let's say it's depression. Let's say that throughout this COVID-19 international pandemic, you've been depressed. Identify that it's depression. Sit depression down and have a talk with depression and say, you know what, Miss, Miss Depression or Mr. Depression, guess what you got to go, okay? You don't help me pay bills. I mean, talk to this emotion like it's a person. And this may seem all weird to you or whatever, but good. Because if you decide one of the problems with not being empowered to accomplish your successes is in life is always pointing a finger at something, okay? Meanwhile, the people who have been emancipated have done all kinds of things that may seem stupid and may look stupid, but they doing what it is that they've dreamed of doing. They making the kind of money that they want to make. Amen in the name of Yeshua. So if it seems silly, that's fine. That's a decision that you just made. But if you really want to be emancipated, sit this emotion down and say, okay, you got to go. You got to go. You've plagued me. You've gotten on my nerves. You don't help me pay rent. Matter of fact, you stop me from paying rent. Okay? You make it so that I can't enjoy my friends, my family. Accuse this emotion that's plaguing you, and you're going to feel more empowered as a result. You're going to feel like you had that talk. Same way you have a talk with somebody that's in your life that ain't making you feel it no more. And it's like, you got to go. So have a sit down and personify this emotion so that you can eradicate it, so that you can rip it out by its roots. And that little technique I've used throughout my life, and it just makes it a little easier because emotions can be kind of like the air. It's like you can't grab it. It's like, where is it? You're feeling it, but it's like, where did it come from? And why did it come? And all these things, okay? So these are techniques. These are psychological techniques that make it a little easier to identify these things. Okay, so now you've identified the problematic emotion. You've had your sit down talk and you've sent this emotion packing and emotions will come back. They're like, yeah, I left, but I want to be with you again. Okay, so keep telling it, keep telling it and don't doubt in your heart. Like the word of God says, tell that mountain to move and say it with some resolve. You got to do the head shake. You got to do the neck roll and the, do that, whatever it is. Number three, number three, once depression or guilt or shame or whatever it is walks out the door, loneliness, start writing, start writing about those things that you want to see happen. This is my journal. And I just think this is so cute, this journal. And I really like this journal. But if you look at my journal, I have stickers in there. And, you know, people might think that that's silly or whatever. But you know what? I'm walking towards my goals. They are manifesting, okay? So, again, it's a choice and a decision to say, oh, that's silly or whatever. That's your choice. That's your choice. But if something is working for one person... There's a potential that I can work for the next person. So I, I've been journaling through this process. I've been journaling, journaling. I, I went to the Dollar Tree and got stickers. So I have like stickers in here. I have stickers that kind of just, you know, cheer me on. So now, now that you've done step one and step two, start writing. Start writing about what you want to see. I've got little pictures in here. See that? That's a picture of a stack of money, and there is an amount that's connected with it. Take a look at this. I got this in the mail. I got this in the mail. It's like one of these checks, and it's for a few hundred dollars, and it says pay to the order, Rhonda McCarthy, so on and so forth. And it's from one of these um, banks that, you know, this um, you can get this loan and all this kind of stuff. Well... As I was speaking these things into existence, 
I acknowledge that, that as, okay, here it comes. Here it comes. The checks are coming in the mail. It don't matter that that's not a real check. It doesn't matter that it's not for the amount that I've called out, but the floodgates are open now, okay? So start visualizing what you want to see. Start speaking to the mountain that's in the way of those things that you want to see happen. Start speaking to those things and do not doubt in your heart. How do you speak to a mountain and not doubt? A mountain is very intimidating, like for real. The way that you can speak to a mountain and not doubt that it's going to do what you told it to do, like sit down. Did you hear me say sit down? The way that you do that is you clear out all of those emotions that are making you believe that you're not deserving, that are making you doubt. Because negative emotions, I'm not talking about positive emotions, negative emotions will cause you to doubt that you're really deserving of this. Like you can have that vehicle that you've always dreamed of driving or live in a neighborhood you've always wanted to live in or make the income you've always wanted to, to make. Negative emotions, the purpose that they serve and they work for the kingdom of darkness, the purpose that they serve is to continually reinforce to you, you ain't good enough for that. I don't know what you think you're doing. It's a choice. So the way that you're going to do this is threefold. Identify, personify, and then start encoding, start writing. Speak those things that are not as though they already are. And you're going to see some things come through, baby doll. All right, my lovelies. I really hope that this motivational message is a benefit to you. I pray that it blesses your life tremendously. And stay tuned for this week's tip of the day with the International Institute of Nail Technology. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you. And remember, everyone, be safe out there.